Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is uh, Outside of Medicine, continue to read the book of Proverbs. Uh, I, uh, my previous video I read, start uh, uh, chapter 4, uh, Wisdom is Supreme, and uh, because chapter 4 is relatively long, so I just divide it into uh, uh, two videos and plus uh, uh, chapter 5, some of them. So the, uh, the previous part of chapter 4 talk about uh, the um, the supreme of this wisdom is uh, use David's uh, teaching to Solomon. So Solomon used David's teaching to him and taught, um, uh, taught his sons and listen and uh, um, tell them to judge uh, good from bad and also um, um, the path of righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, a shining ever brighter till the full light of day. I think that's probably another important. Uh, uh, words in this uh, chapter 4. Um, so I'm going to continue to read. But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. Above all units, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Put away perversity from your mouth. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes, eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level paths of your feet and take only ways that are firm. Do not swerve the, to the right or left. Keep your foot from evil. So this is, uh, uh, I'm going to continue part of chapter 5. Warning against adultery. Chapter 5. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen well to my words of insight, that you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of an adulteress drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil, but in the end she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her paths are crooked, but she knows it not. Now then, my son, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house, lest you give your best strength to others and your ears to one who is cruel. Lest the strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich another man's house. I'm going to uh, read, uh, stop here, and continue next time to read and just briefly um, rephrase what it's talking about on um, this paragraph. <coughs> Excuse me. So, continue from the chapter 4. Um, Previously, talk about the keep the path righteous and stay. And here, continue said, stay away from the wicked, because the the way of wicked is like a deep darkness. They do not know what makes them uh, stumble. So they because they're wicked, uh, lack of wisdom make them wicked, and they cannot tell when um, fall and when to stumble. My son. Pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. Again, this is a re-emphasize. Listen to, pay attention to what I say from my personal experience. I think probably from uh, Solomon's personal experience. So um, um, turn into this wisdom, otherwise a wisdom to the children. To his children and do not let them out of your sight and keep them with your heart for they are life to those who find them and health to man's whole body so this is the saying about the the significance the purpose and what uh, the wisdom from his teaching will help uh, will do above all uh, else guard your heart it is the wellspring of life put away perversity from your mouth keep Corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level paths for your feet. 
and take only ways that are firm. Do not swirl to the right or the left. Keep your feet from evil. This is Andy on chapter 4. It's the supreme of the wisdom and talk about uh, pay attention to what I say and also above all guard your own heart. And um, It's a wellspring of life. And put away perversity from your mouth and corrupt talk far from your lips. So the, the jokes of are necessary if we can. That's probably the best to keep a life uh, um, under the wisdom and keep the path straight. Keep your eyes look straight ahead, fix your gaze directly before you, make level paths for your feet and take only ways that are firm. So this is saying, um, uh, so this is a talk about the dream and the reality, uh, saying that keep your eyes look straight ahead, fix your gaze directly before you, and mark, uh, make level paths for your feet. So it's uh, the goal settings, the dreams matching, uh, matching the ground of feet. I think this is uh, talking about the reality. At the same time, um, um, uh, you do not uh, give up the dream. So this is about the... Um, um, so take only ways that are firm. So make sure you know, then you go on and continue. If something so vague, so not uh, uh, clear, the wisdom from Solomon is do not take it. Do not swerve to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. So this is saying that do not uh, um, follow the wind, wafting left or right. Just keep straight. Um, that straight uh, path really from the wisdom, from the guidance. And uh, um, Chapter 5, warning against adultery. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen well to my words of insight, that you may maintain discretion. Your lips may preserve knowledge. For the lips of this is saying that uh, um, judgment, um, maintain a good sound judgment and preserve knowledge. For the lips of our daughters drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil, but in the end she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double edged sword. So this is saying the temptation of the um, adulteries, um, female, I think referred to female. The temptations, um, it's so sweet, honey-like, and then um, eventually um, will turn out like a sword, a double-edged sword. It's very vicious, probably from his own experience. He had, uh, according to the history, he probably had many wives um, and many children. So uh, probably that's one of the reasons those females are um, really um, sweet uh, language, sweet talk, and then he felt that. So now he um, uh, learned from his own lesson to teach his children to not fall to the sweet lips. Um, her feet go down to death and her steps uh, lead straight to the grave. She gives no thought to the way of life. Her paths are crooked, but she knows it not. So this is about uh, for those um, uh, for those temptations, uh, with sweet talk and doesn't know the 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 reality or the truth or the righteous or whatever. I I, I couldn't get uh, uh, how to explain. Probably you already got what it it is what it implied. But uh, I'm going to stop here today. I hope that you can read and interpret in your own way. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.